I started climbing at Teremo di San Paolo when the lockdown finished. Because the restriction didn't allow us to travel far, so this was the perfect crack because it's one of the closest to our home. And uh, it is a bit small, uh, there are not a lot of routes and it is uh, quite hard. And you can already tell it from the warm up uh, which is a uh, 7C+. Plus. And there are a few very hard routes like uh, Zauberfe or Santanger which are uh, historical routes and uh, at the end of the lockdown I connected these uh, two lines and uh, did a new project called uh, Beginning. And I sent it uh, in the last days of May. And then when I was uh, climbing there while I was resting I noticed there was a piece of rock that was uh, still unbolted and I thought it was possible uh, to climb it so with the help of uh, Seves Casa who introduced me to bolting I tried for the first time to place some bolts on the rock and it was a new thing for me I always just climb on something that was already bolted After bolting it I understood that uh, the line uh, I just uh, bolted uh, was nearly impossible so I decided to bolt a variant of the route that goes on the left which is uh, a bit easier but uh, still super hard and currently I'm trying this project the easier version that I call Project Erebor The hardest move is in the first section and it took me a lot to figure out uh, how to pass it And after that there is a dynamic move, a jump, that is quite hard because uh, the holes where I start are tiny and the holes where I arrive is uh, easy to miss it. After the jump there is a hard section which is uh, the longest and the pumpiest section of the route. And after this there is a bed rest where I could rest uh, one or two minutes and uh, I decide to place uh, the chain after a few days and I figure out trying the moves the last boulder is uh, still very hard when I arrive there a bit tired is impossible to pass for the moment And after a few months, after the summer that was uh, too hot to climb for that crack, I start doing some attempts.
I was just back from Norway where I climbed change and I started uh, comparing these uh, two routes which have uh, totally different styles but uh, similar uh, difficulty. Erebor is uh, shorter and uh, more powerful but uh, I think it's uh, a bit easier comparing to change, at least the easiest version. At the beginning, when I couldn't do any of the moves, I thought uh, it was uh, at least 9B+. But then I started linking up the moves and I thought uh, this could be around 9B. But then again I started falling at the last moves and I think at the end the right grade for this route could be between 9B and 9B+. I figure out that uh, bolting something new from the beginning is totally different than uh, just climbing something that is already bolted. This is a new kind of process for me and everything is uh, uncertain, but I am enjoying it anyway because everything is a mystery. Bolting something new doesn't mean necessarily creating something new. The rock uh, is already there, it's just discovering new possibility in something that uh, already existed in nature for uh, many and many years. And even if I still have to climb thousands of uh, already bolted routes, for me, finding and try to climb something that is unexplored and nearly impossible will be the future. Sì, cazzo!